snowing. Hi guys, today we'll be doing a get ready with me chit chat. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready. For what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> ready for the world. <laughs> okay, so anyways, um, yeah. We went on a long vacation. Kind of, yeah, three weeks, yeah? yeah three weeks vacation. Vac vacation. Vacation. So I'm gonna start off with my tart. Uh, clean slate, timeless less smoothing primer this is a good primer so go ahead and get started honey so we started off we went to Los Angeles yeah the Cali Airport we the usual stopped at the bar and had some food and <laughs> a few drinks yeah the huge one of the highlights mm -hmm. <laughs> we try to get there early just so that we can relax at the bar mm -hmm. got into LA um, kind of late at night actually yeah drove up to Hollywood from LAX. Mm -hmm. And we stayed on the Sunset Strip in a hotel that was right next, literally right next to an In N Out Burger. Yeah. So before we even got to the hotel, we went to. Um, before we checked in, we went to In N Out Burger. In N Out, yeah. That was good because I was hungry. Yeah. Uh, hotel was nice. I mean, it's a small hotel. And it was right in the middle of everything. If you really wanted to walk to um, like the, the Walk of Fame, it was. Pretty close walk out, walking distance. We didn't do that because we did that the last time we went to LA. Uh, I think it was uh, two years ago. Mm -hmm. But anyways, any after the next day we went to. Um, we drove to San Diego. San Diego. Went to visit my dad. My dad's um, buried at the at the cemetery in San Diego. Then after that we went and had we had to go to Old Town. And why did we have to go to Old Town? For the food. Yes. Uh, we went to another place in Old Town. Just up the road from Casa Guadalajara, Guadalajara which, which is, is the one we, we went, went to, this yeah. this time. And the other one was really good. Actually, I thought it was a little bit better. Just because on their menu, they had menudo. Oh, and yeah. I wanted to eat menudo. But this Casa Guadalajara didn't have it. The only reason why we went to this one is because they had homemade tortillas. Mm -hmm. Which the other restaurant didn't have. But if I had to do a trade-off, I would. I kind of wish we went and got the menudo. The menudo was really good nice the last time. I mean, our food was really good. I had the, um, the tequila lime shrimp. And he had... The carnitas. Carnitas. And of course we had margaritas and it was nice because there was a live, what is that, Mar mariachi. mariachi band. This guy came singing. His voice was so intense. It was beautiful, but it was like really, really, it wasn't shrieking, but it was just really bold. <laughs> so it was nice. He yeah, was, it was nice. It was good and he was very nice. Yeah. Okay, next I'm going to be using my um, MAC Prep and Prime Skin Primer. But yeah, the food was really, really, the food was good. It was good. Um, it was really kind of busy, yeah? Yeah. The place is really busy. The plates are big and they had lots of food on the plate. Yeah. I was just kind of disappointed because I really wanted Minoto. Then after that, we drove back to LA because I wanted to go to... Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova. Um, there's, I believe, five stores in um, California for Fashion Nova. And I went one, to the one that was in um, Burbank. And that store's pretty small, but it's packed with stuff. Not as much as what is on the website, but there's a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, I got a, quite a few stuff in there. Um, the only thing I didn't like was their dressing room. They only had like three dressing rooms, and there was like a really long line. I mean, that store is really busy. Um, everybody that works there were really, really friendly. So that, that was a good part about it. They were really friendly. But I was excited to go to Fashion Nova because I order a lot of stuff from that company um, online. And I was happy that I didn't have to pay shipping. 
I'm, I'm all about shipping. I don't like paying shipping. Who's that? It's the little baby. Hi, Roscoe. Hi, Mama. Okay. Next, I'm going to be using my Painterly um, Paint Pot um, by MAC. Use this. I use this as an eye primer for my eyeshadow, and it just makes um, my eyelid looks nice, nice and smooth. Do you remember what we ate that night after we came back from San Diego? Because we had kind of lunch down there yeah? in San Diego, and then we drove back out Fashion Nova. I was trying to remember if we had anything special to eat or. Because I know after Fashion Nova we went to that. Um, we wanted to go to that car show thingy. Oh, that was um. I was at a drive-in up in Hollywood too. Yeah, yeah um, Bob's Burgers Drive-in or something. Yeah, yeah we, we, did, we didn't eat there though. We no. Just, uh, to... Oh, did we eat at that Indian place that was next, kind of close to our uh, hotel? It was a little Indian restaurant. I forget the name of it. It was just us in there. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 We went to a little Indian restaurant. Um, I can't remember the food we ate, but the food was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember now. And then, um, let me see. Next so, day. Next day, we went to um, Senti Alley. Senti Alley, downtown LA. Whenever we go to California, that's where we always have to go to Senti Alley. I love Senti Alley. Um, if you've never been to Senti Alley, it's, it's, it's this huge place with different little um, shops and stuff that you can buy stuff. And it's really inexpensive and it's, it's really huge. I think you need at least two to three days to do the whole thing. Yeah, if you want to do it good. It's yeah. the fashion district right yeah. downtown. Um, and it's kind of sorted out too. They have places where you can get suits, which I bought the suit over there. Yeah. Shoes or um, bags, whatever you want. Suitcases, I mean. Yeah, he bought a suit. He bought everything. It was, um, you got the shirt, the tie, the jacket, the pants. Plus, he had it altered to his size for $140. Mm -hmm. It was $140. And it got altered within, what, two hours? Yeah, it took a little while. They mm -hmm. were super busy, but could have just kept walking around. But we kind of hung in the area. And yeah, and the suit was time. really, really, really nice. Yeah. They, they measure you up and get mm -hmm. you all fitted. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's, it's really busy, noisy, um, but it's fun. <laughs> Um, and then they have all these little, um, like food trucks on the side. They mm -hmm. have these like hot dogs that yeah. are wrapped in bacon. Yeah. But I had one of those hot dogs with everything on it. Oh, it was good. It was messy though, but it was good. Yeah. And, and, oh, and then we ate, um, in a food court there and they had menudo. So it, I was happy about that. Mm -hmm. It was good, but not as good as the one that we had down in San Diego the previous year that we went down. But it was good enough. It, it made me happy. The horchata? Oh yeah, he likes horchata. That was yummy. Yeah. And then what else we had? We had... Enchiladas, I think, yeah? Plus the monoro. Sure. Something, I don't know. But yeah, that was a whole day. We were there pretty much the whole day we got there like at nine and I think we left like probably well maybe like three or four and then oh and then we went to the gym oh yeah yeah, yeah. we found a gym that was close this the gym that we go to so gotta work out because we eat a lot when we go on vacations well I take that back in general we eat a lot mm -hmm. we do we enjoy eating so yeah. that's why you gotta work out. Someone's turned into the dessert person, seems like. Not me. <laughs> I've never been a dessert person until I've met him. I've always been like a more a meat person than a. Like a half a tray of butter mochi last night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But you work it off, so it's all good. Yeah. You look wonderful. It was delicious. Then after, then what did we do that night? What did we eat that night? remember but we didn't do any clubbing or anything we did that the last time we went and we kind of like overindulged so this time we were really really good yeah. Yeah. yeah but the next day we went to 
went to the Pomona car show up in Pomona. Mm -hmm. We just Pomona. Up, we, we got some breakfast up there at a small little, um, like a pancake house, yeah? Yeah, I forget the that name was good. of it, but it was really, really good. And then she dropped me off at the car show and spent a few hours there. Yeah, I went to, and I drove to, um, I needed to get my nails done. And I did that on purpose because on the mainland, it's cheaper to do your nails there. So I did um, my nails up there. I drove um, a couple miles away from him because I, you know, I like to look on the internet and see ratings. And this place is supposed to be it's like a five star. So I was like, okay. So I went there and I like to get French manicures because I just think they'd look a little bit more natural. And the girl that was working on me, the um, and I do the gel. So the machine that was she was using the. Um, the UV mm -hmm. light kept going on and off, so she's having problems with this, the, with the, what is that, the plug, the adapter or something, because she, she kept jiggling and it kept going on and off, but I didn't think anything of it until I noticed the next day before we were going to, we were going to leave um, LA that the tips of my nails were starting to get like a brownish, mm -hmm. almost it looked antique on, yeah. on the tips, and then by the time we landed, the next place that we went to, it was like totally brown. Yeah, the and, white tips are yeah, pretty brown. It was disgusting. So, but anyways, um, I'll talk talk about more about the nails in the next part. But um, the Pomona car show was wonderful. Um, been there before, so went back again, and hundreds of cars, cars for sale, cars at the show to just be seen, parts, um, apparel. Pretty much everything you would want to fix a car up, used parts, new parts, they got it all. Yeah, so. he was happy. That was the main reason why we actually went to LA was because he went to go to the Pomona car show. Yeah, since yeah. we were gonna be on the mainland, we might as well one more just stop. Go there, yeah, and we got in a few of those other things. Yeah, so I'm gonna put on um, use my Estee Lauder Double Wear. This one is in cashew. I was having problems before finding a uh, exact match for. This foundation and I found it in the cashew it took a while for me to do but yeah so that was Sunday so Monday we flew, flew out we flew to Minnesota Minnesota and they had just had a uh, blizzard the week before so when we got there everything was covered in snow and it was tons of snow 32 33 degrees so that was a little bit of a shock. Yeah. Well, we knew it was go it was snowing, but then I didn't think it was going to continue to be like that. Yeah. When we got there, it was like, wow, it's it's cold. Yeah. And us being from Hawaii, well, for me, I, I didn't really have anything like a heavy jacket or anything, you know. I liked it. Yeah, he likes really, really cold. Yeah. There was a couple of days we went out with shorts and stuff. Yeah. And, and I'm like, oh my God, it's so cold. Tony out of the car for a short while or out of the buildings for a short while so but the thing about it is we went um to minnesota last year and it didn't snow and to me it was a lot colder last year and i think because um it was windy at that time yeah. so it was colder but the reason why we uh went up to minnesota well one of the reasons is because we went to celebration 2018 again and that's the celebration of prince rogers nelson's um life and we did that last year um last year we videotaped a video about it you know our whole time but this year we didn't i just wanted to kind of enjoy the um the trip without having to worry about um filming and stuff yeah but was so nice so uh, highly recommended if if you can make it it's four days um the celebration mm -hmm. this celebration 2018 was four days um it was wonderful um it was from like the 19th to the 20 19 22nd yeah that, was yeah. it the first day that who was was she Lee on the first day yes she came out and played and she can play oh came i out told with her band and amazing amazing i was like oh my god i want to learn how to play the drums now <laughs> but she's awesome she looks wonderful yeah she actually looks i mean better than a long time ago like she really really looks really good yeah yeah so but, that was awesome that that first day and then um 
I'm not sure if it was the second day, uh, Maite came out and no, oh, she was, was with Sheila Ia. With Sheila Ia, yeah, she yeah. might take him on and she did, she danced. With the um, twins. With the twins. Yeah. If you know the twins, the twins used to always hang out with Prince. They were his um, dancers. Mm-hmm. My family was there. She, her little daughter so cute. Yeah. And I think that was her, her parents were there too. So that, mm-hmm. was, that was really nice. It they, was nice. They sat right behind us. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, but uh, my tea danced a few, but she didn't, um, it wasn't a, a lot. Yeah. I, wish I was, was hoping more. she would have had a chance to speak a little. Yeah, I, on, I, I thought she on was her life with speak. Prince. I know she has a book out and stuff, so you might want to check that out. Yeah, but and she did have um, some classes on the side that you could have signed up to. Not part of the celebration, but while she was there, she had um, belly dancing, belly dance classes and stuff like that. And I think there was a um, um, not a meeting greet, but a chance to talk with her in one of those classes. Yeah, but the classes we checked the classes out. They were and busy, and some of them. Um, sold out. Yeah. But. Or and then um, when they so had, she had one, we, it kind of conflicted with the celebration, yeah. so we couldn't go to that. But. And then the family, well, formerly known as the family F Deluxe. Mhm. They played one day. Mhm. And on the was it the Saturday night? Oh my goodness. That they had the light on the big screen. Oh my! Sorry about that. Rasco, Manzi, come here. It's okay. It's okay. Doesn't he sound like a big dog? Oh, spooky. Manzi, all right, he's good. Yeah. Oh my. Okay. Uh-huh. But um. Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Come. Oh, where's? Oh yeah. Saturday at the Target Center. Yeah, the Target Center. Which, one thing I have to say, um, being out here in Hawaii. We, we have few large stadiums like that. Um, theirs was, it was, the Target Center was really nice. Very clean, very nice, well built. I mean, beautiful, beautiful mm-hmm. building. Um, Tons of places to eat. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so what it was, was um, his first part, his uh, whole family, all his brothers and sisters came out and they introduced them and uh, Taika was there, and um, that mm-hmm. was the first time we, we didn't see her um, at the celebration. Yeah, um, we didn't get to see her at the celebration, but we did see um, President, her son. Yeah, he's always working, mm-hmm. and, you know, he seems like he, he worked hard. Yeah, yeah. Very down-to-earth, very nice guy. Um, he was hoping his mom was going to show up, but I know she had some other engagements. I know she's going to um, go to Australia or yeah, something. Yeah, going on that week, something. later on in that week, so totally understand that. Uh, but, yeah, the um, live... Live on the big screen, they had um, several of the artists that played with him. Um, I can't remember the lady's name. Uh, oh, they just she can sing. Up there. Oh, um, oh my God, it's on the tip of my tongue. She used to always sing with him. Um, yeah, she she can sing, sing, sing. He kind of I mean, like. And there was the guy too. I can't remember his name either. Um, he had sang last year too. I think. So I swear, then it's an S. Oh my God, I can't believe it. It's like on the tip of my tongue. But yeah, she they 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 were all there. Shelby, Shelby, Shelby B. Is it Shelby, Shelby B? Shelby J. Oh yes, Shelby J. Yeah, she she can sing out the oh, the yeah. lights, but um yeah they were all there playing and singing live, and then um they had it all matched up with Prince on the big screen playing mm-hmm. with them, and it was just awesome. That's the next thing to him actually being there and playing. I mean it was it's pretty awesome. It was and then awesome. they had a, um the debut of his of. Nothing can compares to you, mm-hmm. uh, his version of it. Much better version. Much better. Yeah. Yeah, I've um, always liked um, the other version, but when you hear the actual Prince version, blows it away. Yeah, yeah. We had awesome seats. We were like kind of little on the side, but we we're so close. It's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And then uh, what else? While we were there, we uh, we stayed in the same hotel, Eden Prairie, in, in, which, in Eden which was Prairie? good. They got yeah. you know washer dryer and very uh, low key place, so mm-hmm. it was nice. Yeah. Um, and then we tried that. You found that place. Uh, oh, well, I wanted the, to try the last year. Last year when we went, um, Matt's Bar. They're um, supposed to have one of the best burgers in the U.S. or something. Yeah. Well, it's the uh, Juicy Lucy, which was invented. Now there's two places that. I guess two bars that say that they're the original, but Matt's is the original. Cling to fame. Yeah. It's this um, burger 
It has like the cheese in the middle of it. And the middle is hot. It's yeah. like multi cheese in the middle. It's it's super hot. Yeah. But it was delicious. Really, really good. I wish I had one right now. <laughs> yeah, I would eat one right now. Even though it's about seven o'clock in the morning. But you can eat a burger anytime you want. Yeah, yeah. But what else did we do? Um went to Mall of America. Yeah, we did that last yeah. year. Um my son flew down, so he wanted to go to the Mall of America. Um, honestly, I don't think the Mall of America is that good. If you have kids, you're gonna, it's really, really good. Just because there's the um, amusement park in the middle. Oh my God, is the boy moving the... I thought I saw the thing move. Um, there's an amusement park in the middle, so... You know, that's a good thing. Yeah, but Ferris wheel and all kind of stuff. All kind of games and rides and the whole center of the mall. And, and the mall is huge. Yeah. Huge, huge, Multiple huge. Multiple floors. So big that a, there's a few of the same stores on the Yeah, levels, that's so. the part. And um, it's a lot of stores that we already have. You know, nothing I haven't seen come, come across anything that's different. Yeah. But, I mean, I like going to the mall. Yeah, but it's nice uh, to go. And just make sure you're wearing comfortable shoes. Yeah, the last year when I went, I of course, I always in my high heels. I had to stop in the store and buy slippers. Well, you, they call it flip-flops, but we call it slippers. Yeah. I had to buy slippers. It's actually called slippers, not yeah. flip-flops. And this year, I was really smart. I actually wore my workout shoes. Yeah, she went comfortable this year. Yeah. But, well, I'm going to be using my Age Rewind. Is there rewind in that? Rewind. Not rewind. Oh, rewind. I thought it was wine as in like because <laughs> it's sort of kind of burgundy color oh no i'm not putting wine on my face honey oh. what else did we do let me look at the oh. time uh, oh uh, we um earlier in the week it was because it was there was snow all over the ground and stuff we had some plans for the day after the celebration mm -hmm. and we were kind of like oh my gosh because the plans had like about at least a foot of snow. Yeah, it was there was a lot of snow, and um, as some people know, if if you have ever been to Paisley Park, there's um, Riley Bridge, which crosses from the uh, Riley but, Park on the opposite side of um, I can't remember the number of that highway, but it crosses under the highway. And if you follow the path, it takes you all the way to Paisley Park. Yeah, right to the the fence, and then there's a path that runs along the fence and takes you toward mm -hmm. the front gate. And then the underpass, which they call um, Riley Bridge. No, yeah, but they call Graffiti Bridge number two, because yeah. people write. It's 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 nice if if you're a Prince fan or even if you're not. There's some beautiful artwork in there. Mm -hmm. There's lots of um, like graffiti from from floor to ceiling. Even on the floors, there's some stuff and um, tributes to him and his songs and that was that was really really nice in there. So that's uh, where we had a plan to. Uh, yeah. You can go ahead and say it. We got married. married. <laughs> yeah, so we wanted to get married there. That was our plan. And um, the f first, well, not the first day, but the, I think it was the second day we were there. We drove by and there was um, snow and water going into the the tunnel. The tunnel. So it was like we weren't sure if we we're going to be able to do it there. But by Saturday, it the sun came up and... Yeah. And then it got by, warmer and warmer and by Monday it was 67 degrees all the snow had melted well most of the snow had melted and the grass had dried up and so we, we did go ahead and get well, married there. originally we were going to get married in the tunnel mm -hmm. but we were looking at it and on the top of the tunnel there's places where we could actually have Paisley Park in the background of our photo so we decided to get married on the top of the tunnel mm -hmm. yeah kind of in between the where you would go into the tunnels and um, that Riley Park, mm -hmm. and it's beautiful. There's um, yeah, we we did it with Paisley Park in the background, and yep. yeah, so that was that was really nice. Yeah, Got a whole bunch of pictures. And I'll put some pictures, and you can see see the pictures.
came out really really good some cool shots yeah and the weather was nice and i mean it was cool but it wasn't cold i wasn't shaking or anything it was perfect I'm using the um la mercier translucent powder to set my makeup and after that we went to uh Manny Steakhouse, which is um, in um, downtown in Minnesota, Minya, Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Um, they were supposed to be the best steaks in Minneapolis. Yeah, yeah. They got it's a really old restaurant. Um, it's it located in the W Hotel. Really nice, beautiful oh, place. Beautiful. We went into a, a side room and sat in front of the fireplace, and it's just beautiful, real modern looking. Got some pictures in there. Mm -hmm. The food was. Uh, food was good. There service was, was excellent mm -hmm. there's this thing called Manny's chips and it was like this big they came out with these this big plate of like really thin chips and it had some kind of dip it was so good yeah and then we had calamari too and then we all ordered because they said that the the their aged new york steak yeah was the it's kind of their signature steak yeah so we ordered that boy was it it we, was good yeah it was delicious. Full of flavor, tender. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I like to put translucent powder over here on my eyelid just because it helps to um, make your eyeshadow go on smoother to me. And then have dessert. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and they were nice. They brought us um, Because we got married yet, they brought us this big, oh, it's like a sundae or something, yeah. but it was like this, and it was like, it was, it was huge. Humongous, yeah. There there were three of us, and we couldn't <laughs> eat it yeah. all. And I love dessert, too. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. And after, what did we do after that? I'm not sure what we had dinner time. Can't remember. Oh, we just we went went to the far place, but then they they didn't have AC. Remember? Yeah, and then where where did we go eat? Oh, we drove all the way to um. Oh, what's the name of that place? I wanted to eat at what is it Olive Garden? Yeah, it was Olive Garden. Oh. Oh, yeah. But they had some kind of prom going on. Yeah, the first one we drove to was it was busy. Tons of that night were kids multiple with proms. proms. So we decided to go to another one, which was yeah, even farther, farther away. And they and were that, high <laughs> Yeah, they had the same thing going on there too. So it's like everybody's celebrating their proms at Olive Garden or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Over there, so. But we still, we, we ate. It wasn't too bad and we got in and yeah. food's always good. Yeah, food was good. Then what else did we do? Um, after that day, we got married and that was pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. Then the next day we flew out to... Las Vegas, Nevada. Yes, we always go to Las. <laughs> Since we're on the mainland, we always go to Las Vegas. Yeah, try to make the most of it. Our third yeah. stop, so we stayed downtown. Yeah, that was, that was you know, it's affordable, but it's still nice and close to everything. And, mm -hmm. and then we get the downtown experience. Sometimes we come back a little late at night and go hang out there for a while. Mm -hmm. Walk around, watch mm -hmm. watch people. It's interesting to watch people there. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's a whole lot of different stuff going on my eyes I'm going to be using my Anastasia modern renaissance see how nice this looks usually most people want it's like all dirty but I keep mine in my box because it's velvet but I'm using the burnt orange for my transition <laughs> <laughs> see all the dust fly off of it. Um, while we're there well there's one place right across from our hotel that uh, another hotel that has a has a restaurant inside they, they usually got like late night prime rib and stuff and pretty pretty cheap too where the one across in that other hotel oh it's called the man mangolia magnolia magnolia yeah it's yeah. in i forget which hotel i'm not sure if it's fort queens or one of those no not fort queens fremont oh we stayed at the fremont yeah wasn't in the fremont um, one of right those across was... though um the experience to to the fremont yeah and their food is like it's 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 pretty good yeah yeah it's pretty good food but it's very cheap so um, and of course, the, we had to eat at Tony Roma's. Yeah, we ate at Tony Roma's, I love which, Tony which is Roma's. in Fremont Hotel. Yeah. We ate there one night. And the best one um, was we went back, as we did last year, we went back to um, to Laurie's restaurant. Oh, the one that Laurie's Prime Rib? The seasoning and stuff. And we went there. And it was, it was a lot slower that night. Mm -hmm. It was really nice. 
Oh. If you want the best prime rib, you have to go to Laurie's. They have the best prime rib. The prime rib is so soft, you don't even need a knife. Yeah. You can just cut Tender. it with, with your and fork. And you can get it cut whatever size you want because they, they go and they bring out a cart. Oh, we're not going to talk about <laughs> what the cart looks like. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll talk about it. The cart is this big stainless, very old style, maybe from like the 30s or <laughs> 40s or something like that, roll around cart. And it's got a metal cover that slides up and the prime rib is sitting in there all nice and hot and they go and they cut it you have to tell them what what cut you want and and it uh, comes with like uh, mashed potatoes and you can always upgrade to other stuff but it comes with the the prime rib comes with the mashed potato and this um thing called yorkshire pudding mm -hmm. which is actually like a big puff, like a bread yeah a mm -hmm. puff pastry yeah yeah so the that cart is this big metal thing <laughs> looks kind of spooky to me he doesn't like the car <laughs> so i kept i kept making like i don't want to see it i don't want to see it so. so i took a picture of it and, I and then she texted it to me <laughs> how mean is that <laughs> and then every so often she goes and she'll show it to me she goes oh look at this picture in my I'll, phone i'll put a picture oh. up of what it looks like but He doesn't like that cart. It gives it's, him bad feelings. Yeah, just uh, something about what the cart looks like. It doesn't look, I don't know. I it's told just, him, but the, does it look the like a coffin? The prime rib is so delicious though. Was, the whole meal was, was very nice. Yeah, and the service is top Excellent notch. as always, yeah. The food, I mean, it's it's a pretty pricey restaurant, but it's it's totally yeah. worth it. Yeah, if you're going to splurge you, a little, that's a that's, nice place to go. Yeah. If they, you're gonna they won't have, do you wrong there. So yeah. They'll take care of you. Oh, that restaurant is so good. I can't wait to go and... Again, we're gonna go back soon, yeah, but yeah. can't wait again. Yeah, yeah, so that was real nice. Yeah. Okay, I'll take my blender and blend this out. Uh, and you uh, went to shopping? Oh mm -hmm. yeah, I did tons of shopping. Um where did I Oh we went to of course we had to go to the, the discount shoe store, which is on I think Paradise. Yeah, it's one of those streets across the freeway, so Yeah. My son took me there before a uh, few couple years ago and every time I go to Vegas I have to stop there because their shoes are super inexpensive they're not designer shoes but they're like the same styles as designer shoes and they're inexpensive very like I, affordable like this time I didn't buy too much shoes I only I bought only five pairs from that store versus last year I think last year I think I bought like 12 something like that but for five pairs of shoes I paid like $65 yeah well, one of them ended up being a convertible pair, huh? Oh, yeah. They broke. <laughs> <laughs> She's walking around in the whole... She says, something's wrong with my shoe. No, that was at the no. mall, yeah, when you came back. Yeah, no, that was a different story. Oh. Oh, this, this shoe was after when we went to um, we went to a food festival. Oh. And it was at the food festival that it broke. <laughs> but... Oh, that was before we actually went in, yeah, and you changed shoes. No. No. It was after. It was almost kind of towards the end. Thank goodness. Oh, and then, yeah, it to help you out, yeah? Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, I could barely walk. Because I wasn't going to walk, take it off and walk barefoot. Yeah, yeah. The, the last time we went um, to that shoe discount, they had lots of men's shoes. Yeah, but this, this time, time, not really. Yeah, this time, not, not very much. So I didn't, I didn't buy any shoes. But the last time I bought a, a pair of tennis shoes, which was, I think it was like $9 for one pair of red tennis shoes are pretty nice still have them they're still working great mm -hmm. yeah most of the shoes that i bought from that store they're and it, it's been a few years they're still going i mean this was the first shoe that actually broke and i was pretty disappointed because that was the only size that they had in mind and i really liked the shoe but oh well it wasn't meant to be but what are we all also we went to that that food festival that we were talking about oh, that was awesome yeah, where was that? That was. Uh, that was, heading out toward the M. Yeah, I'm not heading sure. out. Um, what was the name of that, that town? Not sure. Kind of near where your son used to live before. No. Oh, Henderson. Yeah, kind of out in Henderson. There's a ho hotel and it, it's held out in the parking lot area. Food fest, over fifty uh, food trucks. Yeah. And boy, was there! There was. Um, it was like a carnival. I mean, there was games and rides and stuff but then all the food trucks and alcohol and i mean there was like everything from like lobster to desserts um mm -hmm. pretty much whatever you could think of as far as food food trucks and then some there were 
they were there. So there was a lot. So that's what we ate that night. Was just went to all the different trucks. And yeah, we had a, um, a lobster corn dog. So it looks like a corn dog, but inside it is like a, a lobster tail, half of a lobster tail. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah, that was delicious. And then he was super happy because he found his um, oh, his turkey leg because in Cali, that's what we we're going to look for. Yeah. But the only place that we could find it was to go into Disneyland and we weren't going to pay um, yeah, just yeah. to go get a turkey leg. That was where I had it as, as a as a kid several times. Yeah, it was leg. a turkey leg. Is, to me, I... That was the first time I ever had one of those turkey legs, and it tastes like ham. Yeah, it's very delicious. Oh, it was tender. It was done, good. Done right. The turkey leg almost turns a reddish color, and the, the meat inside, it's so, it was so on. Delicious. I feel like uh, Fred Flintstone eating that thing. It's yeah, like it's big huge. Old, big old turkey leg, and you're just gnawing on it. Yeah. And then, um... Yeah, one day, um, I think that was a Sunday also, that they had a... It was a, a Dodge event at the Dodge Dodge Cars. Um, oh, at the Speedway. The, yeah, the, the Raceway. Um, so I, I drove out there. And I went to the mall. Yeah, I dropped off at the mall and I drove out to the Speedway. And um, it, it was actually open to all different all different makes of cars. There was, I mean, from Volkswagens to Chevys. I mean, they were all there. The drag strip was open, so cars were running. They had um, a bunch of cars oh at like showing off, showing at like car show. Um, they had vendors for new parts and lots of used used parts and uh, some older cars for sale also. Um, yeah, so I went and checked that out. That was nice. I always like going to stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's his car stuff. Yeah. But Oh yeah, and, and at the um, food fest, um, I had a lobster roll. And there was two types of lobster rolls. There was the cold one. And the hot one. The hot one was drizzled with butter, and the cold one was with mayo. I got the hot one. It was so good. <laughs> it was expensive though. It was like sixteen bucks, but it was worth it because it was tons of lobster in it. Yeah. Yeah, there was a line for several of those. Yeah. Yeah. But. And you had dessert. Oh yeah, we had the. Uh, oh my gosh. You bring the bowl. With oh, the... funnel funnel cakes. Mm -hmm, with had... ice cream on it. Yeah. Funnel cakes, whipped cream, and all kind of stuff. And then they had, um, they had playing. Um, they were playing music like. Um, <laughs> oh, I was hoping we we're gonna skip that part. No, we're not. Like you know, popping music, away back in the old, like in the eighties. Yeah, there was playing old, old, old and, music and some newer dance music and. And there were young kids dancing. Yeah, there was and a stuff. dance group there. They're really talented and stuff. So. Yeah. So. Of course, you know, and then they started, they had all the good music and then they started off with the newer music, which is good too, but for popping and stuff, it's like the older one. Older songs to me are better, but <laughs> so, motivated. so I went up to the DJ and I gave him 20 bucks. I said, I told him, can you play the old style music again? He's like, what kind of music? And I said, like the old, like the eighties popping music. And he gave me this weird look like, he, and he was like, popping? <laughs> What's popping? What's popping? I was like. I couldn't believe it. I was like, formal dance, like break dancing. It was around the same time. It started because they were doing it. I mean, they were, yeah. they were dancing. I mean, and they were doing break dancing too. So, but anyways, they finally paid something, but it took kind of a long time. Yeah. Yeah, it took a while, and, and, and not the most motivating, not the best song. So yeah, so he went up and danced. <laughs> yeah, I made a fool of myself. No, you didn't. You're that was good. Fun. That was fun. The he guys were cool. They like, yeah, go for it. So yeah, went up and. Showed his skills. Spent a good 10 seconds on the floor and I was done. <laughs> nah. It was more like a minute. <laughs> yeah, what else did we do? Something on my eyes. Um, In Vegas. We didn't go to any shows because we were looking for a long time before the trip, you know, but... There was like Jennifer Lopez, Ricky Martin, but on the week that we're going to come... Yeah, everything was in lightning up time, <clears throat> time yeah. wise. And even in LA, <coughs> I, wanted to, I was hoping I would see Justin Timberlake, and on the week after we left, then he came. I was just like, oh. But, so there wasn't really any good shows that we really wanted to see. Just the standard, you know, like Cirque, Cirque du Soleil and all that. Blue Man and... But. Where did you have the... um? The huevos. 
with the two eggs and oh yeah we found this place in vegas in downtown is it the huevos i didn't have huevos no that was the place we ate at eat you had that that was the first thing you ate oh yeah eat eat yeah that was, there's this restaurant downtown yeah, that was that place was i don't know if you want to look for a good pre breakfast place that's different um you need to check this place out it's called eat small little uh, place off a of side street downtown maybe about three or four blocks away from downtown where the the experience is mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's very nice make sure you have the orange juice the orange juice is made there and it is good it is the don't best. get don't get the small yeah <laughs> get a large it's, <laughs> it's the best orange juice i've ever had it's it's not your normal orange juice so it's very very delicious yeah, yeah. does it, does, it <clears throat> doesn't have any alcohol or anything in it it's yeah, just really good all. i had the huevos uh two eggs over easy with red and green chilies and stuff mexican chilies black beans mm -hmm. yeah and then i had the first day i had um the tofu scramble which was really good and um, was tofu and um some kind of mushroom mushrooms but yeah i don't think there was a wrong choice in there no and also i had the um the pozole it's a soup a mexican soup and, and oh, yeah. i I was like, oh, MG, because it has hominy. Hominy, if you don't know, is corn. And they look like big corn nuts, but they're not crunchy like corn nuts. And I love hominy. I actually will eat hominy out of the can. And the shrimp and grits. Yeah, we, well, that was a... Uh, we, we, we went there three times yeah. for breakfast. That's how good it was. Yep. Usually, when we go to Vegas, we always eat at the Egg and I. And I told him, this trip, let's try something different. And I'm glad we did. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah, that place was, was good. Mm -hmm. um, shipping grits. Mm -hmm. uh, what? <clears throat> With uh, bacon and two eggs over easy. And pico de gallo. Yeah, I, I ended up having the shipping grits one day too. Because he had it originally. And he was like, oh my god, this thing is so good. How was the tofu scramble? It was delicious. Tofu scramble with wild mushrooms, green onions, sprouts. Yeah, and That was good. Potatoes and toast. Forget chilies. the... And then um, one day you had the chicken with... The country fried steak, like. Oh yeah, that was yeah. Good. And I think, and then one day I just had the soup. I had a originally I had the one day I had the small bowl, but this time I went for the bigger bowl because that's how good it was. And the um, day that I went to the um, the racetrack for that car show, she went to the fashion mall. Yeah, yeah. I already said that. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Oh. Um, but. Oh, about that place we went for dinner. Where? The Mediterranean restaurant. Oh, yeah, had. the last night. Yeah. I was like, oh, let's look for someplace different to eat. So I put best ethnic, and then that came up. It's this, um, it's called Maraca? Moroccan something. No, no. Maraca um, uh, Mediterranean restaurant. It's a Moroccan restaurant. It's kind of, um, it's near Lowry's. That that side, it's um, kind of behind the hotels. A couple blocks where the, where the big giant uh, Ferris wheel is. Kind of past that. And uh, you get there, and, and when you first walk in, they have the curtains drawn after you enter the doorway, and you feel like you've just transported in, into Morocco. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's, it looks exactly like what you would think. It yeah. has like... um. The, the roof, it looks almost like a tent. There's all the yeah. material that goes up like this, and it's a, it's a it's, big room. It's beautiful. Um, <laughs> Very well decorated service they're on it um and the meal was um it's one set price and it's how many fifty dollars six courses six courses and it was good from they had like a shrimp dish which was very very yummy um and, yeah it was like a sh they called it like a mediterranean shrimp um scampi and the bread with all the different um stuff you can put on it mm. it was like um oh yeah yeah flat, yeah almost like flatbread i think yeah. Was, yeah that was very yummy um, the haraya soup how do you say that the soup lentil soup yeah it was like a lentil soup that was going on mm -hmm. and then <coughs> we came maracha up. sampler oh yeah that had like um hummus baba ganache moroccan olives yeah and then like some kind of um marinated it was marinated 
uh, cucumbers and carrots. The carrots were like kind of so almost soft. Mm -hmm. It was good. Oh, and, and he brought out this long skewers. Which was in a pineapple. In a pineapple. It was stuck into the top of a pineapple. And it was all um, beef kebabs, pieces of steak all stuck on there. Mm -hmm. It was delicious. And then uh, couscous with chicken. Yeah. That was yummy. By that point, we were so full. Yeah. We were like, oh my gosh, we ate only a little bit of that because yeah. we were just so stuffed. Yeah. And it was like a big plate for me and him. Yeah, it was lots of lots That could have fed at least four people. Yeah, yeah. The amount they brought out for just the two of us. And then they came out with... Dessert. That's the only part I didn't care for, <clears throat> that dessert. He liked it. Yeah, I liked it. It had a different taste, but I'm into just trying whatever. So It was like a puff pastry, and it had bananas, nuts, and chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then it had like powdered sugar on the top. I don't know. I For some reason, I didn't care for it. When you but first get there, they, they come out with a um, a big bowl and a pitcher, and they wash you wash your hands right there at the table. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They wash <laughs> your hands. They pour the water, yeah. Mm -hmm. and dry it up and everything. That was nice. And they gave us this tea. It's like this minty but it wasn't very minty it was like it was sweet it was so good yeah, that was good but and yeah, they nice. also have these hot belly dancers that come out <laughs> yeah that first one came out just caught so her like, eye i was not only my eye i don't even go there <laughs> oh no i wasn't looking oh uh, well, i didn't care if you looked though yeah she was like and she was she so was beautiful good and, yeah she, was, she was really really good yeah there were two of them she was the best one though yeah um, the other one was good too. Yeah. I was expecting more older belly dancers, but this one was uh, younger, and she was good. Yeah. So every so often you'd hear the music get a little louder. Louder is like, oh, they're coming back yeah, out. Yeah. They come back out and come dance at your tables and dance with actually the. They try to get you to dance yeah, with them. Try to get you to stand up and dance with them. Um, it's kind of funny because if you watch, I'm a people watcher. So I was watching people that come in because when you go into the restaurant, you, the, there's curtains, so you, they have to open the curtains. Well, I've seen a couple of times where the curtains open where a couple comes in and you can see the f when the belly dancers are dancing, you can see the look of the women. Not really like... I don't know if they some, feel... Some if, of them don't if, weren't oh, into maybe, that, maybe. Maybe feel a little insecure because yeah. they, I don't know, like they don't want to be there now. And I even saw one couple leave. And I probably think it was probably her idea to leave. Which to me is pretty funny. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's, they're it's, just doing their job. Yeah, it's the experience. And it's a dance. It's not anything else. And they're, they're dressed like belly dancers. No, no more, no less, you know. Mm -hmm. but, but I enjoyed it. It was fun. Mm -hmm. Where yeah. did I do it? My other stuff. I'm missing... Ooh! I'm using my Too Faced chocolate i use this as a like a contour bronzer i got this for a hundred points from sephora and i have another one that i haven't opened yet this one lasts me over a year what did he call it Two face that's the brand that's the name of the company because oh. <laughs> they'll tell you one thing but it's actually something well, else we won't go into that oh. <laughs> there's some kind of thing that went on but oh. yeah but i got it for a hundred points you know how you save your points and is such a good deal because I really don't want to pay for it. What else can you think of that we did in Vegas? Mm. Gambled. One, yeah, gambled. And one day we went to lunch at that um, the place with the chicken, the little um, hot wings and stuff. You remember and the service was kind of slow. <laughs> the drinks took long to come out. We went for lunch. Oh, yeah. Um, They're usually pretty good. but Buffalo, buffalo Wild Wings? Yeah, Wild Wings. It was really weird. It's just, yeah. it wasn't busy yeah. at all. And, and we're just having, I think it was beers, yeah? Yeah, or, beers. And we just from the tap. Yeah. Draft and it beers. took so long to come out. And yeah. I don't know, the waitress, oh, I kind of Didn't seem like she wanted to be there. Yeah, she had a little bit of like an attitude yeah, thing yeah. going on. But, um, and then we had, the, our order got wrong. It was just... It was a mess up. Yeah. Nothing against the company. We've eaten there before. Great mm -hmm. service. They have them in, in Hawaii and also we've had them. We ate in, ate in Vegas there before so also. A so a different location. Yeah. And that, one, that one we went because we went to watch a <coughs> UFC one time. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Or even in Honolulu mm -hmm. we went to watch a mm -hmm. UFC. A couple times I think, yeah. Yeah. But... 
Yeah, so that was that was awesome. Mm, I just burped. Excuse me. Um, thank you. Now, what do I? Oh, that was a great trip. Yeah, it was good. We, we we did a lot of stuff. I mean, we're missing a lot of stuff, but I'm giving you just a kind of like the highlights. So later on, she'll put some pictures up, and she looks so beautiful the day of the wedding in Minnesota mm -hmm. and stuff. So. My honey looked handsome. <laughs> She has beautiful that black dresses. Yeah, and if Amazing anybody um, watches my channel, you see that I did a video previous on my wedding dress. And that dress was my original dress. But something about when I did that video, I just didn't feel... I don't know, I felt differently about that dress. I don't know, I, I kind of... Wasn't was, the one after that point? Yeah, I was like... Maybe I shouldn't have done that video. I don't know. But so I was kind of feeling like that. And I came across this other dress. And when I saw this other dress, I was like, okay, this dress is more my, it's my, more style. my style mm -hmm. versus the whole white wedding. It's not really my style. I mean, that dress was beautiful and I loved it. But I don't know. Just yeah. something about doing that video. Yeah, she really shined in that, that black dress. That black, those black, uh, gold design. Hey, bro. Sorry about that. Manzi! Come on. Can you come up? Can you come up? Come around the These are little guard dog. Come here. I know you want to be on TV again. There you go. Oh, yeah, he there really looks like he wants to. <laughs> he just wants to be cuddled. Cuddled. <laughs> He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah. But. I'm just checking my time for um, this particular camera. At 30 minutes, it shuts off. And you have to restart it. Or restart the recording part. But. I'm a little tired and he's a little tired because. We stayed up with me and watched the wind. She woke me up at like 1 o'clock in the morning or something. And I, I wanted to see it. it. It didn't matter that much if it was live or not. But since I was up, we stayed up and watched it. It was beautiful. Yeah. We went to watch the... We watched the... um The royal wedding. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah out here, it played at 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So, um, we watched it from start to finish. and Didn't go to sleep till... Probably like 3.30? Something like that. But yeah, it was nice. Um, the best part I liked was when um, Prince Charles walked her down the aisle. I think that meant a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. It's like welcoming. Like you can tell that means like she's welcomed into the family. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. They um, did. They did a lot. They um, from a lot of the speakers. Yeah, it was, singers and, it was really different yeah. from any other royal yeah. wedding that I've seen. It's nice and to I've see the, the royal the family. Third. The royal family um, advancing to, you know, to modern times. It's beautiful. Yeah. They're going to have some beautiful babies. Yeah. Her dress was a little bit, um, I'm not going to lie, I thought it was a little bit plain. Plain. Yeah, I thought so. I it's thought it was going to be more, but it was nice. Yeah. But it, I, I, that way, I guess the dress didn't take away from her beauty. Yeah. She shined with it on. Yeah, she's beautiful. That, yeah. that um, she didn't Megan. Need a beautiful dress. Oh, so. she's gorgeous. Yeah. And I love anything to do with those two boys. Yeah, too bad their mom didn't yeah. be there. But. She was there with them in spirit. Yeah, so that was so nice. And her ring. Her ring had two uh, diamonds from the mom and one from. Um, oh, what country is that? That was the country that they first. Uh, Who? Um, the two they got married. Uh, her ring. Yeah, had, but had the had the two diamonds from the mom that was taken from something the mom had. Wasn't it like a brooch or something? Or? I'm not sure, or a ring or some or earrings. Earrings, or something, something like yeah. That. Yeah, two two uh, triangle shaped diamonds, and then the center one was from. Um, like. I can't remember like Af I think it was an African country where they did some work. Oh like the mining. Yeah. Like the where they did where they did some take the mines. You know, they they built homes and stuff like that. Something, or, yeah. NARS. 
orgasm. This blush is good because it goes good with any skin tone. It's their highly rated one. I'll take one of those. And they have one that's called Super Orgasm. <laughs> that one has a lot more glitter in it. It's, eh, oh, okay. I don't like that. But. Does it feel good going on? Oh, nice and smooth. Oh. But, yeah, so. So it's a nice, very nice trip, nice long trip. Always good to get back home. But, yeah, let me just put on my lipstick. Finish up. Yeah, because my battery is about to die. Oh, you have it on again? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I thought you were stuck. So enjoyed that trip. We did a lot in a short amount of time. I'm sure we're forgetting some stuff. Yeah, it was a nice long vacation. We we're gone for like three weeks. Yeah. We got some nice souvenir stuff from uh, from Paisley and and from the live on the big screen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and um, he bought me a replica. Oh, we should have brought that up. Yeah. Let me stop and go get it. Yeah. We'll be right back. I'll put on my glasses, my lipstick, which is a liquid cat suit. Um, Rebel Rose. Cat suit? Yeah, cat suit. But yeah, he bought. Um, I bought her a little something the day before we left. We started off with uh, some small stuff, some trinkets, and a um, couple of Prince's older albums. Mm -hmm. And uh, slowly by slowly worked our way to. to dun, this. Da, dun. Dun, da, da, da. We got her uh, cloud guitar. I don't know if you can see the whole thing in there. So we're gonna display that. We're gonna set it up and. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff from Paisley Park and. Mhm. Mm <clears throat> it's pretty cool. And then while we was at the airport. He busted out this. Yeah. This. Well, we're waiting to get on our plane. I don't know if you can see it. It's a print symbol. It's got um. It's got all the jewels on it, and um. Originally, when he got made it, they were gonna make it in blue, right? Yeah, all the purple. Um, what are those gems? The purple ones. Um, not Is am amethyst. Is it amethyst? Not sure. I'm not, not sure. really. But good it was on a, it was more of an aqua aqua color those jewels. So I had them go and change that out, and they put in those, and it's really beautiful. Yeah. It looks awesome. She put a nice long chain on it so it hangs properly, and and wore that up there, and it was awesome. Yeah, it's nice. I'm glad she liked it. It's not like everybody else's that you could just buy. This is. Yeah. No one else has it. But. Yeah, everybody's gonna have the blue and all that on it. So. Yeah. But that's it. I'm it's done awesome putting trip. on my makeup. My kind of natural, just weekend makeup. You want to play something? What? I don't know. Maybe a Prince tune? Go ahead. <laughs> you want me to stop? I'll stop. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed watching me put on my makeup. I bet you enjoy more listening to our stories. I hope you did. I enjoyed watching you put on your makeup. <laughs> I see it every day. Yeah, he does. <laughs> she doesn't need it though. Oh, how nice. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Till next time. Bye. Bye. Is it time to eat? I'm hungry. Yeah, let's go. <laughs>